Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick, how do I encourage myself to not give up when I progress well, when I, while I am trying to learn programming? So let's get into it. Uh, this is a bit of a tricky one because it's going to be highly individual to yourself, but I can understand this question and I can understand that I mean, there's quite a few people who struggle with programming in the beginning of things. I am no exception. I thought it was very tricky when I first started out as well. And I can only give you, well, at least my thoughts on, on this. And I suppose it might actually be a little bit more universal than what's just true for learning programming. But the way that I see it is that the only way you will achieve anything including programming, is if it matters to you. And what I mean by that is basically the same phenomenon you see in people who are, let's take being overweight as an example. Now, if you have grown up being fairly overweight and at some point in your life you feel enough is enough and you start working towards that and you really, really try over a long time because, you know, shedding weight for some people is actually fairly tricky and keeping it off is even trickier. What happens is that if you grow up being overweight and being teased or for whatever reason feeling bad about yourself to, and you as then as an adult actually try to fix these things, it's likely that the experience has mattered to you. Like in other words, like the, the, you are emotionally invested in this. On the flip side of things, I mean, this is not always true, of course. You have people who grow up fairly slim and athletic and they might be doing sports as kids and at some point when they come up in the ages, they actually stop working out and they stop like basically adhering to the routines of the day that keeps them in shape and they just keep, they keep on eating and they start putting on, well, basically weight. and. I've met so many people who have gone, like for both of these cases, where I've seen people who, who, be, who throughout at least when I knew them, they were very athletic. And these days they're trying to get in shape again, but they can't. They can't muster up the strength of will to go and work out properly, simply because they, they got it for free, uh, more because they, well, they grew up in an environment where it was basically handed to them. All they really had to do was to just kind of follow the flow with everybody around them. And now they have to do it by themselves. They ha don't actually have the emotional investment, whereas people who have built up that emotional investment absolutely can, can actually stick with it in a you know much easier fashion. And this is, of course, true for people who are, are you know, just athletic all, all across the board because they simply keep, well, the sport that they practice is it, ma it matters to them, and the same thing is true for programming. You will face hardship. It's not a, it's not something that just comes to you. Programming, is, programming isn't free, and this is why I think it's a bit hilarious when people talk about learning programming in three months, when in the when reality is that it's going to take you quite a lot longer. Even just learning the basics is going to be a bit of a bit of a challenge. Unless, of course, we count like a Hello World application. But making anything meaningful, that is going to require investment. And unless it matters to you, I would just say don't bother. Because it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. I mean, there are plenty of professions out there where you don't have to sacrifice as much or to like... You, I know that there is this idea that programming is just a way for you to earn an income and it is absolutely true. For some of you it will absolutely be that sort of thing. But it, it's a bit of, a, it's a special type of profession where it requires a bit of you and unless you like the challenges that come with programming and dealing with stakeholders, dealing with change in re changes in requirement, dealing with keeping yourself fairly up to date with technology and all of this stuff, unless that's something that you want, you will not be able, I, I find it very hard to believe that you will find it all that enjoyable to be part of all of that. But if 
as I said, if you're emotionally invested in it and you actually have a purpose as to why you want to learn programming, then you're also, they actually go up by quite a lot. They increase by a lot, a lot actually. So that's why I urge you to, before you say that, hey, I'm going to be a programmer like everybody else, or well, not everybody else, of course, but I'm going to learn programming. Before you even start do, like going in that direction, I mean, even if you just think it's fun and interesting, that's great, just go for it. But I really urge you to think about what it is that you want to achieve with programming, because the thing is that there's a big range and a big difference between programming at a professional level and just learning how to code so that you can make websites. There's a world of difference between the two and you should know that most of the learning materials and things of this nature will cater to one or the other. You will get to a point where right, you've learned kind of the basics that you can produce a website and taking the step from doing that to actually working as a professional is a bit, a bit of a leap. But if your desire is to just be able to make websites for yourself or for your own small company or things of this nature, then you don't have to push it all the way and try to go through the frustration of actually getting a job. A lot of juniors experience this transition where all right, the frustration starts when you're trying to learn the basics and then you invest and invest and invest until you kind of know how things work and you feel that you have a good understanding of programming. And then the next step of frustration comes when they're trying to actually get a job or break in and become like a professional. It's similar to uh, the whole athletic thing I was saying again, where, well, you train, you practice until you're in pretty good shape, but the di and the, just that is going to require a lot of personal investment. But if you want to take that and become a professional, the investment is even bigger. It's a very similar thing. So what I want you to take away from this is that the only tip I can give you that would be fairly universally true for all of you is that it has to matter. It, if it doesn't matter to you or if, you don't, if, you, if you're not emotionally invested in learning how to write pro, uh, software, you will not make it to become a professional software developer. It has to matter. If it doesn't, it's, uh, you may, may as well learn the things that you are curious about and leave it at that at least for now. But on the flip side of things, although you go through all of this frustration, the reward at the end is fairly big. It's just that you may under a lot of people who believe these three months boot camp and so forth, they vastly underestimate they vastly underestimate how much investment it actually is. I will tell you right now that it is very similar. It's almost identical to learning any higher, higher profession or inve truly investing in your physique and becoming extremely well, like extremely fit. It's not something that you do over a year. It's something that will take qu quite a lot of time. But if it's worth it, that's up for you to, well, that's for you to decide. For me, it's been worth it. But then again, I am also emotionally invested and that's why the journey has been very forgiving to me. So just remember, if it doesn't matter, I highly suggest that you think about something else. Have a great day.